Today we're taking the boys to go biking. We love riding bikes with them because it's a great workout and wears them out for most of the day. If this is an activity that you want to do with your dog but are concerned that this is how they'll act, you just need to do some training before you hop on the bike with them. If your dog tends to be overly excited or wants to pull while on walks together, you need to focus first on teaching them to walk nicely next to you. Walks are also a perfect time to train commands such as stop, wait, slow, left, and right, which are really useful when biking with your dog and will make it easier for you to give instruction while the two of you are out for a spin. We first trained this on walks, then worked on it while skateboarding with them, and were able to transition into biking. We have them wear harnesses when we're biking with them because it's more comfortable. We use a normal leash and tie it around the handlebars, but only do this if your dog is well trained. Our boys know how to stay on one side of the bike, which is why we trust them using a simple leash. Sometimes we'll also use a bungee leash to absorb shock and reduce the impact of sudden movements and pulls that they make. A lot of people use a biking leash which attaches directly to your bike and may be safer. When you're riding, make sure that you're going at a speed that's comfortable for them. Make sure to bring lots of water and take breaks because it's a high impact activity. If you have a high energy dog and want a change of scenery or different style of exercise, this is a great option. Depending on the weather, our Huskies are typically exhausted after about 30 minutes to an hour of biking. Don't be afraid to get out there and try it with them. If you like this video and want to see more great ways to exercise your dog, be sure to check out our video that talks about the best ways to wear out your high energy dog.